every Chable story you've ever seen in any Asian drama plotline ever, you'll be able to find in NBC's new drama, Great Temptation. I mean, seriously, if I learned anything from episodes 3. A quick summary of the story is a reminder, Kwon Si Yun, played by Wu Du Wan, the heir of the JK group, has a mission to seduce Soon Tae He, played by Red Velvet's Joy, all in a great scheme for Si Yun's childhood friend Choi Soo Ji, played by Moon Ga Young, to take revenge on her ex-boyfriend Lee Ki Young. Un Tae He is believed to be Lee Ki Young's first love, but each of these characters and their family ties run much deeper than just a simple revenge game, literally the definitive picture of a dramatic Asian Chable family. Episodes 3. Let's start with the new information we learned about Choi Soo Ji. Choi Soo Ji's love-hate relationship with her mother runs very, very deep. What she wants more than anything is to be different from her mother. And yet, we also learn in episodes 3. Because she drinks alcohol at the dinner party while on her medication, she goes berserk from learning that her mother will be marrying Kwon si Yun's father, then later on, as Suji mildly takes up Kwon si Yun's offer to get married before our parents do, she again forewarns that she may be following exactly in her mother's footsteps. Despite her resolve to be different from her mother and despite claiming that she doesn't want a fake marriage with si Yun for material gain, Suji is more than just a little tempted at the prospect of marrying si Yun. In a nutshell, the poor girl hates her messed up family but is helpless but to repeat the same kinds of mistakes on her own. Things are really, really starting to look bleak for her, and then we have this crazy unexpected scene here, below, I've Kwon Si Yun's father Kwon Suk Woo, played by Shin Sung Woo, creepily creeping on Tae He's mother. Like WTH. Okay, so we don't know what the deal is here, but apparently, Tae He's mom and Si Yun's dad had some kind of fling back in the day. But don't go guessing that Si Yun and Tae He might actually turn out to be related or something crazy like that, totally did for a few seconds and then scolded myself hard, that would be really really bad. Oh man hiding behind a wall and creeping on the woman I love listening to music is so romantic, at least that brings us to a bit more of Tae He's family situation. So the shocking thing we learn in episodes 3. You can imagine why Tae He refuses to accept monetary support from her mother now, technically, they are no longer family, legally. Now, all Tae He wants to do is to get through college on her hard-earned full scholarship, then eventually get a job to support herself on her own, running away from her family forever. Before we move on from character, family situations, I want to briefly touch on Tae He's best friend, Go Kyung Ju. She's a cute one, this one. So she's the daughter of the famous model that Kwon Si Yun hooked up with at the club in episodes 1. And she's a smart girl, so she's found out about her mother hooking up with one of her high school classmates, which she finds deathly embarrassing. Early on yesterday, we learned that the model isn't Kyung Jao's biological mother. Kyung Jao's family is rich too, by the way. There's no telling when she'll become involved in Si Yun, Tae He, Tsu Ji, and Se Jo's four-way mess being a Jable in her own right and all. OMG there are too many Jables and too many families connected all over the place and ADL, JSG, SLK, FG, JS, falls over but there's no hottie to catch you, so now some thoughts about the drama, so far. I quite enjoyed episodes 3. My favorite parts were the ones involving Lee Se Ju, played by Kim Min Jae, and his almost comically crazy Jable family. So many dramatic relationships and family issues can bring the mood of the drama down by a lot, but the writer did a great job with Sejo's character. His sarcasm and apathetic attitude toward the various Chable family feuds play a very important role in giving the drama the little bursts of lightheartedness it needs. But it's not that his character is shallow or void of emotions, not in the least bit. We'll see Sejo facing up to his own problems soon, I'm sure. Overall, the drama has had great transitions and a very smooth timeline in the storytelling so far, Sejo's appearances being an example of that, if you haven't realized by now, this drama is going to be full of chable talk. Which is why I recommend that fans of airs give Great Temptation, a try. One media article even pointed out after the airing of episodes 3. They even have the same mothers, like literally. As in the same actress plays their mothers, Young Do, I have a secret to tell you, you have a long lost brother. But he comes out in an MBC drama. That about wraps it up for the premiere week of Great Temptation. Who else can't wait to see how badly Si Yun fails at trying to seduce Tae He next week? Score plot, 0.6 performance, 0.9 pacing, 0.9 overall, 0.8 Moon Ga Young Shin Sung Woo Joy Kim Min Jae Woo Do Hoang Great Temptation.